Hi everyone, this is Carrie Cole with Side by Side Educational Consulting, where we specialize working side by side with educators to improve outcomes for all kids. working on a really great video series for explicit systematic phonics and one of the things that we've broken down are the five steps to creating an explicit phonics lesson. We've looked at step one which was a phonemic awareness warm-up. We looked at step two which was um, an explicit connection to the phoneme grapheme association. Step three which was blending. Step four which was reading a decodable so application to decodable text and this last step is also an application stage which is word work. This is an opportunity for kids to solidify their um, decoding and encoding processes so that they can both read words and spell words. So let's just think about this idea of decoding and encoding and then I'll walk us through what it looks like um, in the classroom. So when we think about decoding, this is the ability to blend sounds to create a word or sound out a word. This is translating print into speech. Whereas encoding is the opposite of that process, it's the ability to spell words or in other words to um, translate speech into print. This idea of word work is a really broad term that really is um, looking at the manipulation of sounds, building sounds, writing sounds, all with a goal of solidify uh, all with a goal of solidifying those decoding and encoding processes for kids. There's four main types of word work activities. One of the word work activities can be phoneme graphing mapping. Another one can be dictation, both sound dictation and word dictation or spelling dictation. Another one can be word sorting, where kids are taking um, various words and sorting them according to patterns. And then the last one is word chaining. If you'll look, um, we've done quite a few video series already on each of these four types of uh, word work. So be sure to check those out and that can give you examples of what this looks like in the classroom. All right, that wraps this up. I've taken you through all the five steps of an explicit phonics lesson. If you include those five steps, you're gonna build a really explicit approach that's going to um, ensure that all kids are going to be successful at applying that newly learned phonics skill.